Will the Mafia advance to 4 0? Can the Stuffers avoid 0 oh, 4? Is Zack still dead? Well, yes, but not really. Ugh, forget it. To the field! Straight into it. Bros, minus Marshall, and Guzzlers, minus Forrest and Levi, plus Seth. Bros want to recover from last week's loss to the Mafia, and the Guzzlers want to follow up from their win over the Stuffers. Simple enough. First half, Seth flips it to Kyle from the midfield score. One apple, two apple, three apple, four. Go, 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 go. That's, that's a touchdown. Hey. Seven nothing guzzlers from the get go. Elijah, who is probably league MVP right now, responded with a long run. Hey, proceed. I'm the one that picks the ah! like, I said, take Oh, 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 So technically, me and you are in the same department, except. Yeah. Tied game at seven all. Bros would follow that up on their next drive. From under pressure, stick with Duck to Noah for the score. Maybe some missed flag guarding. I'm not sure. Thirteen seven. Bros now up. It would remain that way until the closing moments of the half, where the Guzzlers would score with Seth dumping it to Christian for the touchdown. It's tied thirteen all going into halftime. Second half now. Bros would jump ahead with Stig to Tyler, making it 19-13 Bros. Tyler were intercepted on the Guzzlers' next possession. They'd take full advantage with the Stig-Tyler combo from midfield for the score. It's now 25-13 with 4.58 left on the clock. Game over, right? Not if Kyle has anything to say about it. A miraculous catch! And now it's 25-19 with 3.49 left. The Guzzlers would make the stop and on the next drive, Seth would heave it to Kyle for another touchdown. It's tied at 25 with 155 left. The Bros again would fail to respond, giving it back to the Guzzlers, and Seth would again bomb it to Kyle for the touchdown and for the lead. The Guzzlers get the extra point, 32, 25 Guzzlers with just 36 seconds left. The Bros need a touchdown and an extra point. They would not go down without a fight, but the Bros would get close and the Guzzlers would not let them get any closer. The Guzzlers seal the game. Final score is 32-25. Both teams now 2-2. Two and two. On to the second game of the evening. The Stuffers, minus Ryan and Dylan plus Stick and Elijah, against the Mafia. And this too was close to the very end. Mafia would come roaring out of the gate with Seth to Addison. It's 7 nothing. 24 seconds in. But this is where the Stuffers would sort of take over for the half. Hudson throws to Jonah for the one-handed touchdown, so tight seven and all. Next drive for the Stuffers, Hudson gives it to Elijah, making it 14-7 Stuffers. After that, Hudson dumps it to Elijah, and he'd go long. Again. Cross him up, Isaiah. Yeah. 105! I think it was after that that we saw an AC-130 flying overhead. I don't know what that means. It's now 27 stuffers. The Mafia is in trouble. So they give it to Isaiah, and he does not let down! He tastes the end zone at last in his career! 20-14! to 14. But the stuffers would make it rain on that parade as Hudson would pass it to Elijah for the score for the third time. 27-14 the half. The first seven minutes of the second half was a deadlock. Neither team were able to score until with five minutes left and a roll switch, Marty, Marty, Marty passes it to Seth for the touchdown, making it 27-21. A long drive that came up empty for the Stuffers later, and Marty gives it to Addison for another touchdown! It's 28-27 Mafia, with 1.23 left on the clock! Back-to-back -back comebacks this week! Is there any way the Stuffers can respond? Yes! Hudson bombs it to stick, and he takes it home! 
28 stuffers with 111 remaining. The Mafia are on the ropes again, but they would roar louder. As soon as they get the ball back, Seth heaves it to Addison, and he'd score again. The extra point makes it 35-33 Mafia with 105 left in the game. But the Stuffers would not give up. They'd use the clock and drive down the field, getting with an easy striking distance. But they just couldn't punch through to the promised land. The Mafia would hang on to win 35-33 and remain undefeated at 4-0 while the Stuffers drop to 0-4. My gosh, what a pair of games. Week 5 has a lot to live up to, and I'll be here to recap it all. I'll see you then.